Is brooding a sport into winter? Do they hold competitions? Hand out trophies for the best? Scowls? I'm not brooding. Moping, then. You seem like you're a champion at it. I'm perfectly content at the moment. Oh, so that's you smiling. <laughs> Glad you... that I'd never have known. Please, can you help me? My brother. What happened to your brother? Karen was always so devout. So idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order, but he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. What do people say about Knight Commander Meredith? Oh, she has many admirers. They laud at the service she does in keeping the mages in check. But others say she is terribly fierce, and utterly without pity, that she sees demons everywhere. It is dangerous even to whisper such things. What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage, and she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. So you think the Templars, what, killed and ate your brother? Maker forbid. I don't know what happened. He just stopped writing me. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance, in your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. Make her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. You must really like the Hawk family. Why do you say that? You came all the way from Lothering with them, didn't you? And they're not even your clan. Humans don't have clans, Meryl. Exactly. You came so far together, and you didn't even have a keeper to make you get along. So your keeper tells you to stop kicking each other, or she'll turn the Aravel around? Sometimes she also warns us to stop pulling hair. Do you know a recruit named Karen? His sister is looking for him. We cannot speak to you, Messer. To the void with that. Karen and the others are missing. But our orders... The knights aren't doing anything to find them. Maybe it's time to ask for outside help. I wasn't even certain Karen was missing. Who else is gone? The first ones disappeared weeks ago. There's been at least half a dozen. Wilmard and Karen were the most recent. 
Why must you keep silent about Karen? You obviously aren't a Templar, Monsieur. A Knight Lieutenant gives you an order, and you obey, without question. They told us not to breathe a word about Karen and the others. They must have their reasons. And that'll be a great comfort if you go missing next. You're already defying orders to talk to me. Might as well share the good stuff. I hear that Knight Commander Meredith has some new initiation you have to go through. If you're not strong enough or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. And you honestly believe that? Recruits keep going missing. Wilmot came back. What? He did. I saw him this morning. What else do you know about the initiation? You hear about some... <laughs> questionable things that the Order must do these days. The Knight Commander only wants Templars that can do... what must be done. Andraste alive. She's killing recruits that might question her orders, isn't she? That's rubbish. She wouldn't do that. If Wilmot came back, he might know more about the other missing recruits. I bet he would. Wilmot told me he was going outside Kirkwall. Clear his head, he said. Why didn't you tell us this? Knight Captain Cullen ordered it, right before he chased after Wilmot. That wasn't too long ago. If you hurry, you may catch them on the road. Andraste, be my witness, Wilmot. I will have the truth from you now! Mercy, sir. Mercy! Were it that easy? Don't hit me! I will know where you're going, and I will know now! I thought Templars only treated mages this badly. Nice to see you're branching out. This is Templar business, stranger. <laughs> You have struck me the last time, you pathetic human! To me! Make her preserve us! involved in something sinister but this is it even possible do you think he was possessed normally we only worry that mages will fall victim to possession I have heard of blood mages or demons in solid form who could summon others into unwilling hosts I had not thought one of our own would be susceptible with what I've bumped into in Kirkwall, nothing surprises me anymore. I am Knight Captain Cullen. I thank you for your assistance. I've been conducting an investigation of some of our recruits who have gone missing. Wilmard was the first to return. I had hoped to confront him quietly, out of sight. If you didn't know he was possessed, why draw your sword on a recruit? He'd only been back a few days when he left again secretly. It set off some warning bells. I meant to scare him into a confession. He had to believe my threats were genuine. The recruits believed that Meredith was conducting some sort of deadly ritual. What? <laughs> That's preposterous! 
Recruits can be worse than a weaving circle with their rumors. There is a vigil before Templars take their arms, but the gravest danger they face is falling asleep. Do you know what happened to Wilmot while he was gone? Obviously more than I had anticipated. Wilmot has never been fully convinced of the Order's rules. Mages cannot be our friends. They must always be watched. I thought Wilmot might be meeting with some old friends who'd escaped the circle. I've got friends who are mages. Are you saying they need to always be watched as well? I was at the Circle Tower in Ferelden during the Blight. I saw firsthand how Templars' trust and leniency can be rewarded. I still have nightmares of Aldred's depravities. Where there's one demon, there's usually more. Where do we start digging? I fear it is time to widen this investigation. My discretion may have cost me one of our best recruits, Wilmot's friend Karen. They were last seen together at the Blooming Rose. But I had no luck interrogating the, uh, young ladies there. I, I doubt they know anything of magic or demons. I'd be willing to search there. The Order would truly be in your debt if you helped us with this. No one at the brothel will speak with me for fear I would shut them down for serving our recruits. If you learn what manner of creature did this to Wilmot, please come tell me in the gallows. I will ensure you are rewarded. It wasn't a big enough village to have a wall around it, let alone a place for elves. Where did the elves live then? Stables and outbuildings mostly. I think I like alienages better. It doesn't really look anything like a rose. Maybe they should change the name. are in the brothel. My day is complete. Oh, it's so lovely. Let's not stay here for long. Madame Lucine runs the place for Harlan. Or with him. Or on him. It's a coterie thing. Until he fades. Disgusting. Do you need something, honey? A couple of Templar recruits went missing. They were last seen here. You'll have to be more specific. We do a lot of business with the Templars. The Templars are the ones who want this information. We make a lot of our money off of nervous Templars that expect some privacy. I'll be discreet. Let me look through the books. Wilmot, Karen... Here we go. Wilmid came in here a lot. You sure he had time to be a Templar? The both of them last saw... Iduna, the exotic wonder from the East. That's quite the stage name. It sounds better than the Tramp from Darktown. You should hear what some of the others are called. Is there anything else you can tell me? Honey, I could write volumes on the things I know. Unless you want Wilmot's favorite position, I think you have what you need. You didn't hear any of this from me. We clear? Fetch mommy a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. 
I've never met a dwarf mm -hmm. before. That's because you've spent too much time frolicking in the woods, Daisy. Dwarves don't frolic. Dalish don't really frolic, either. Not in the woods, anyway. You have sanctioned frolicking areas? No, just not in the woods. The trees get jealous. But... You must be the exotic wonder of the East. Do you remember entertaining a Templar named Wilmot a few weeks ago? Or Karen? Wilmot. Wilmot. That doesn't sound familiar. Do your clients like this charade? It must get dreadfully tiresome. Wh uh, wh whatever do you mean? Questions are boring. Why don't we have some real fun? Hawk, go easy on this lovely creature. You should listen to your friend. We have to ask her about Karen. What's your problem? Yes, yes. But certainly there's no harm mixing a little business and pleasure. As charming and relentless as you are, I'm here to investigate. Answer one of my questions first. Who told you about little old me? It was Vivica. She showed me her books. That wasn't so hard, was it? So, Vivica sold me out, did she? That drab, pathetic little sewer rat. She will be dealt with. Just do one more thing for me. Draw your blade and bring it gently across your throat. I will not be toyed with. How did you... Oh, shit. Spare me, Messer. What foul magic was that? Blood and desire in equal measure. An art I learned from... Elsewhere. Blood magic, then? Yes, Messer. Please don't kill me. You're going to answer all my questions. And if there's even a hint of magic... Tarani put me here, to send biddable Templar recruits to the Sanctuary, Three Spear Alley in the Undercity. I enchanted Wilmot and Keren weeks ago, but after they left these walls, I know not what came of them. Please, let me live. It's not my fault. It was all Tarani's idea. Tell me about Tarani. She put me up to this. She said we can recreate the ancient Imperium. That mages can rule again, not serve. She says the Templars cannot hold against us if we stand up and fight. This base of yours. How many other mages are there? Any other defenses? People go in and out all the time. Sometimes a handful, sometimes more. There are traps. Magical traps. There's a hidden switch at the front. It turns them off. That's all I know. The Templars are coming for you. No more of your tricks. Next stop, the Sanctuary. And some answers.